Well, good morning. My name is Nicole. Welcome to your Friday morning devotional from The Crossing Church. So if you are just joining us, if somebody shared this video and you actually haven't been a part of any of these yet, what we've been doing is getting together every morning to talk about one of the Psalms from the Bible. And this week we have been looking at Psalm 1. And today we are in the last step of a process we've been learning on how to interact with the Bible. And so that process is super simple. It's called SOAP, Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. And today is about prayer. How do we let this gift that we have known as the Bible, these words of truth and comfort and help, how do we let it actually become something that's part of our mind and part of our life? And that's what prayer really is helpful for. Prayer helps us start to make something a part of our lives on a really deep level. It also helps us put our, our own selves and our own problems in perspective. It allows us to put our attention on a power bigger than ourselves, on a God that loves us and cares about us. The Psalms help us do this because they are prayers in themselves. They are lyrics to songs. They are meant to be run over and over, learned from. They are part of this thing that helps us be healthy whole humans. And so this last step, this way that we just pray the Psalm into our lives is really simple. What you can do is you just go to that Psalm again. And if you've been looking at it this week, then maybe you even know parts of it by now. But if today's your first day, then you just look up Psalm 1. You can Google Psalm 1, P-S-A-L-M number one, and it'll pop up. And pick a part of it that feels like something you want to be true of your life or something that you're struggling with. And in this Psalm, it says to meditate day and night on the truth of God. And that part really stuck with me. And the reason you meditate on the truth of God is so that you can be like a tree planted by a stream of water, healthy, strong, ready for anything. And that's something I really want to be in my life. And so that's something I wanted to just pray over you and pray for myself right now that we would remember to meditate on truth, to meditate on good news, and then let that strengthen us so that no matter what happens this weekend or this next week, we've got what we need. We have the resources and we have the strength. So I would just like to pray over us this morning. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for every single person who happens upon this little video. God, we know that you are with us day and night. And so would you please help us remember to think about you, to meditate on you and the fact that you say you can give us strength, that you want us to be like trees planted by streams of water, that you have the resources that we need to get through each day. God, would you let every morning and every night, those first couple minutes and those last couple minutes, would you just help us remember in that time to immediately start meditating on who you are, thinking about who you are. And if we find ourselves wrapped in worry, thinking about things that are pulling us down and weighing us down, that we would look up and remember again to meditate on your presence in our lives. Whether we're just meeting you this week and wanting to explore what it means to have faith in you or whether we have had faith in you for a long, long time, God, would you call to us today, the people of The Crossing, the people who happen upon each of our videos during this time, that you would just be a part of our lives and jump into our minds so that we can remember who you are and that we have everything we need and that we're not alone in this. God, thank you for the crossing. Thank you for the way you have brought us together. Thank you that nothing is an accident. Every video we happen across, every person we interact with is something you knew was going to happen and you have designed, and we can trust you in that. Thank you for the chance to pray. Thank you for the fact that we can pray and you can hear us. God, I pray a blessing of just favor and goodness and little miracles that make no sense unless you are in it for each one of us so that our faith could grow. 
It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. I will see you soon. We've got devotionals every weekday at 8 a.m. And then our weekend services are Saturday premiering at 530 and Sunday premiering at 915 and 1115. See you there.